Now we're going to work on the slope-intercept form of a line. That's the equation y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. So let's think about it. When we graphed a line, we used a table to find two points, and then we plotted the points and we connected them. So we already graphed this line, and here it is. <clears throat> Let's identify the slope of the line. Well, if I look down here, the slopes were going up 4 and right 5. So the slope will be up 4, right 5, so 4 fifths. What's the y-intercept of the line? Well, the line crosses the y-axis at 0, comma negative 4. Now we're going to use the given equation and solve it for y. So here's the given equation. 4x minus 5y is equal to 20. So if we look at that, we're going to get negative 5y is equal to negative 4x plus 20. I'm going to take that little negative 4x and tuck them right in there. So then I'm going to divide everything through by negative 5 individually. So we're going to get y is equal to negative 4 divided by negative 5 is 4 fifths x. Positive 20 divided by negative 5 is a negative 4. So what do we notice? Well, we notice our slope is right there. Our y-intercept is right there. So cool. Now what we're going to do is we're going to find the slope, find the y-intercept, and then we are going to graph and label each line. So for this first one, the slope is equal to 2 thirds. The y-intercept is going to be 0 comma negative 2. So we're going to graph the point. We always start with the point 0 comma negative 2 right here. And we are going to use the slope and go, go for it. So we're going to go up 2, right 3. There he is. Label my axes, connect, and this is the line, y is equal to 2 thirds x, take away 2. Let's do the next one. Yeah, let's. It is not in slope-intercept form, which is y equals mx plus b, so let's get it in that form by solving for y. I'm going to take away 3x from both sides. And then I'm going to divide everything through by 2. There it is. And now I'm going to graph the line. The slope is equal to negative 3 over 2. The y-intercept is 0, 7. So we start with the point 0, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and I'm going to go down 3, right 2. I could do that again, and then I'm just going to make the line. There we go. And so this is the line, 3x plus 2y equals 14. Great. So we found the slope, we found the y-intercept, we used them to graph the line, and we don't need a table for those two because it's just you just plot that y-intercept and then you use the slope to graph the line. Next, y equals negative 2. Well, for this one we're going to use that little cute table, negative 2, negative 2, Pick arbitrary values for x, and we're going to plot these two points. 0, negative 2, and 1, negative 2. So I draw the line, and this is the line 
y equals negative 2. Now, I could have used the slope-intercept form to also graph this particular line. This is my y-intercept, but there's no slope. The slope is 0. So, so I'll put 0 over 1. So if we go no rise and run 1, we, we can graph this line. Now let's do the next one. Well, this one doesn't have a y at all in it, so we really can't use this guy because the slope-intercept equation has y in it, y equals mx plus b. So here is the deal. We have to do the little happy table thing where x is 4 all the time and y can be anything it wants to be. So um, 4, 0, 4, 1, and we just graph that line. x equals 4. Now there's no y-intercept. And the slope is undefined. So we can't use anything with the slope-intercept form for vertical lines. For horizontal lines, the one in C, you could actually write this as y is equal to 0x minus 2. And then you could see that the slope is 0, the y-intercept is negative 2, da-da. Next, we are now going to write the equation of the line given the slope and the y-intercept. This is the easiest part of the whole thing. I love this one. Because all you have to do is fill in what the slope is and what the y-intercept is, and you're done. You don't even have to graph it. Same way here. Slope is here. Y-intercept is here. Done! Now you'll be able to do the My Math Lab assignment associated with this lesson. Good luck.